Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cheese ball. I love cheese and crackers. I eat it quite a bit. And a cheese ball is really good to serve at like a family gathering or for dinner or just because you like them. Super easy to do, very few ingredients, no baking or cooking required. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Now you can do this in a food processor or you can do it in a bowl like with a stand mixer with a paddle attachment or you could use a hand mixer as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my cream cheese and down below in the description box of this video you'll find the list of the ingredients and their amounts. I have eight ounces of cream cheese and I want to add that right into my food processor bowl. And then I have one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. This is a mild cheddar, but you could use a medium or a sharp cheddar if you want. Totally up to you. And you can play around with the amounts as well of the cheese ratios. Um, and you can switch out the cheese with something else. If you don't like cheddar, then use like a mozzarella or a Colby or something like that. Totally up to you. And then I have one cup of Jack cheese. Again, if you don't like one of these cheeses, the Jack or the cheddar, switch it out with a different cheese. All right, so in there it goes. And then I have one tablespoon of butter, and this is just for a little bit of flavor. The butter is optional. One fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper. That is optional as well. And then I have one half teaspoon of garlic powder, and this is optional as well. You can also add a little bit of salt, but I find that the cheese, like the cheddar and the jack, already have enough of a salty flavor that I don't need to add any extra salt. But if you like things extra salty, add about a half teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of salt as well. And now another optional ingredient. This is green onion. This is a fourth of a cup of green onion. Optional. And you can blend it in with the cheese or you can roll it with the nuts after. Up to you. And there we go, very simple. We just put all, all the ingredients minus the nuts into our food processor or if you're using a mixer, hand mixer, there you go. And now we just mix it or blend all these ingredients together. Smells really good. Remove the top. Show you what it looks like on the inside there. And now once the cheese mixture is all blended together, I'm going to grab this part out of here, scrape off the cheese. If you use like a hand mixer, with traditional beaters, then the cheese just kind of gets stuck all inside of there. And so it's a little easier to use something like a food processor or a stand mixer with a paddle attachment. But if a hand mixer is all that you have, you can use that as well. So I'm just gonna scrape around these sides here. And then I want to take all this cheese out. And I want to mention, you can use freshly grated cheese or just that you grate, grate yourself or just use the pre-grated stuff if you want. And then using clean hands or um, you can use little gloves up to you. Again, if you're gonna use your hands, just make sure they're really clean. I use my hands quite a bit. And then we're gonna take this ball and I just have it on a silicone mat just because I don't want to do it right on this wooden table. But you can do this right on your countertop too if you want. 
and we want to pack this down into a ball. And depending on the types of gloves, these gloves that I have aren't the best. There's other gloves that are better. So just roll it into a ball like that. And then we're going to take some plastic wrap. And we'll wrap this in plastic. So a nice cheese ball wrapped in plastic. And then we are going to place this in the refrigerator for about an hour. And once the cheese ball has cooled, we will take it out of the fridge and then with clean hands or use the gloves, we will unwrap it from the plastic. And now we want to roll it in nuts. And you can use chopped pecans or you could use almonds, like almond slices, or you can use something like pistachios, that's pretty common. You could also lay down bacon bits and also more green onion if you want. I'm going to do a combination of these. And then we will take the ball and we will roll it in the nuts. And you can be firm with this as well. I can just kind of grab it and just put it on there like this and squish it into that cheese until it makes a nice awesome cheese ball just like this. And then to present it, you can save the rest of these nuts, don't throw them away. I'm going to take the ball like that and then some club crackers or whatever your favorite crackers are to go with this. I'm going to just line these around it and you can do a variety of club crackers if you want on all sides. Present it however you like. And now it's ready to serve. And you can come in here with like a little cheese knife and just scoop some of it. Or, of course, you can just dig in with your cracker and put it on your cracker like that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And then go for a bite. Mmm. So good. Now if you have any leftovers, just wrap it back up in plastic wrap and store it in the refrigerator until you want to eat it again. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. Hmm.